as I was thinking, as I was like, as I was strapping up, getting in my costume. I like this actually. This is really good. This is a present uh, to me from Nacho B. Shout out to Nacho B. Um, yeah, maybe I might. I'll tell you Nacho B's secret. He hates. Uh, he hates secrets being given, but I think this is okay. Uh, Nacho B uh, really likes uh, machete. Thinks machete's the bomb. Uh, he really likes pangu. He thinks pangu's the bomb. And uh, he really, really likes save the polar bears. <laughs> he was talking about doing a, sailor po a save the polar bears video uh, for a long time. And... Uh, we, we had one all planned out, and he was very excited about it, and uh, it, it didn't come about. If, if it comes about, it'll happen in a, lo a long time from now. I hope, uh, I hope we're still making videos uh, to one another uh, when this happens. Uh, but the whole 40-ounce smasher thing really gets uh, Nacho B's attention. So sh shout out to those folks. Hello, how are you? I am a world-class macrame champion. I teach lessons professionally. These are naturally delicious. I'm actually uh, got a little bit of a buzz on at this point because I just made a video and. Uh, I completely, I got distracted. One of the dangers of being an introvert is uh, we're not really, uh, like the idea of multitasking. Uh, multitasking actually isn't possible. Uh, and, and when I say this, it's, it's, me it's mentally proven. They've run, uh, they've run brain scans on how uh, the mind gets activated dur during tasks. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I could do five things at once. But what shows up in my on my brain in a scan is that uh, my mind is flickering to five topics one at a time. So it just keeps doing that. So I am doing five things at once, but my brain's only focused on one thing at a time. Uh, so, so yeah. Um, so an introvert, I'm even more challenged in that way, and that uh, I don't. I have no desire to do five things at a time. So yeah, I made it. Uh, Made it that far through my 40, I got distracted and it was all over. And you missed some really good stuff too. I was brilliant. Uh, well, Earl, you might say. I might uh, might adjust you a little bit there. Uh, you look pretty good. How do I look? Do I look good? Good. Well, Earl, you might say. What'd you say? It was so brilliant. Well, I was talking to a whole bunch of people. And now I don't think I'm going to have enough time to recap. Uh, but uh, one of the things I was talking about, I wanted to talk to Warbles. Hi, Warbles. So it's, it's, like, it's, it's like I've already said it, so it feels weird to say it again. I don't know. It could probably come out different. <laughs> but, uh, but Warbles, you talked about uh, going on a drive, a drive that you normally do, and you saw a, uh, a car accident. It was a fatality. People died. And... Uh, First of all, I want to say, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to experience that. I'm sorry those people had to experience that. Uh, not only the people that died, but uh, the, the people in the, the crash that survived. And this is, uh, in the United States, with like uh, the leading causes of death, like heart disease and uh, auto accidents, um, it's, it's a part of our life, but I don't think that it should be a part of our life that we get used to or shouldn't want, shouldn't like we should not want it to happen we should do all we can to uh to make our roads safer and we can do all our all, all we can to make our hearts healthier um and you said something uh warbles that uh you know what can we do uh to this what's this this is a question what's the answer and you said something that reminded me of what i thought the answer was and i think the answer actually is witchcraft and i'm um, seriously and uh, I mean, I mean the kind of Wiccan religion. And I've done, I've done a lot, a lot of research uh, on this topic. 
and uh, mainly because it seemed to me that the essence of it, it's like, it's like oh gosh, grab like 20 books on, uh, on witchcraft or the Wiccan religion and uh, see how much real information you get out of it. It's, you have to read five books to get a paragraph of truth out of it. Uh, or, or, or a paragraph of something understandable and uh, uh, applicable, something that actually could be used and get a benefit from. Um, so, how does witchcraft apply to your situation? That, that, that situation of, uh, of driving, say, to your hardware store and uh, seeing a place where your car might ordinarily be and seeing uh, an accident, a fatality. Uh, well, how, 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 does, uh, how does a witch, how does a warlock uh, handle the situation? I'll tell you. Uh, malt liquor. You almost want to make references to my last, uh, my attempt at a video. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have deleted it. Maybe I should have just edited it. Um, that would have been a good idea. I'll do that next time. Um, but I, I shouted out all of uh, North, Central, and South America. It was a, it was, it was a big shout out. <clears throat> Alright, so how does, a, how does a warlock drive to the hardware store? Um, I'll tell you. You might, uh, you might approach your vehicle and you'll either stand at the driver's side door, you'll stand in front of, uh, right in front of the vehicle looking towards it, uh, stand behind it looking forwards, uh, whatever makes the most sense of you, sense to you. And uh, you might say, may I travel safely? May I meet people on the road uh, that are paying attention and are looking out for themselves and for me? Uh, may I arrive and be welcoming? And may I arrive and be welcomed? And may I have a truly excellent arrival at my destination. It's something like that. You know, it, it could be whatever you want. You know, a poem, a song, a chant, um, a statement, a mission statement. And you say this, and it should probably be, it should probably be sweet, short and sweet. And you say this, uh, Warbles, before you get into your car. Um, and you're, you're a, 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 a creative, uh, expressive uh, bloke. Um, you might even, on all the four corners of your car, uh, make a sign, draw something, scratch something, apply something, uh, bolt something on, uh, make some sort of change um, of protection, of uh, things that flow, things that avoid uh, uh, breaking conflict, uh, like water, the wind, things like that, dreams. <laughs> love, <laughs> anything, uh, you just intention, uh, some sort of symbols of intention, that you want your trip to be safe, you want it to be full of love, and you want it to, to avoid any uh, catastrophe, and uh, maybe even hide some symbols inside the vehicle for protection. And so what, what this spell would, uh, would, would do You would find yourself driving carefully, being really aware of everybody, maybe even waving at people. Because when you're thinking about what I want for you, what I want for me, I want to arrive safely. So I'm, I'm paying attention. When you're thinking about for other people, I really want you to arrive home to your family, uh, to your work, uh, to your home, to your camping site. I really want you to arrive safely, and when I see you passing me, this little wave I give you means like I see you, and I hope I hope so much that you arrive safely, and you have a wonderful time. And the people greet you warmly, and they're happy to see you, and vice versa. And so you arrive safely, uh, you know, blessed be. And uh, when you get there, when you walk into your hardware store, <sighs> guy behind the counter. You greet them. You tell them what you want. You get it. You're like, 
I'm really happy to get this. I'm attaching a uh, solar panel top of my car. I think it'd be it'd be really fun, not only uh, uh, in a in a way to adjust uh, my tools and make them more efficient. Um, but I think I think it's fun too. I, I enjoy the project. And uh, I was obviously the guy working in a hardware store, um, he enjoys projects as well. And uh, so you, you welcome him warmly, and you're happy you're there, and you're happy you met him. I mean, you came there, you risked your life uh, to go buy those, uh, those parts. And you acknowledge that when you arrive. And your spell will start to work as you keep going back there. This person starts to respond to you like, they're happy to see you. They're really glad you arrived. Uh, they know it's going to be pleasant, and they're uh, they're going to be curious. Uh, so, what do you need all these brackets for? And you're like, oh, I'm building a rain pyramid over my generator, and uh, I'm excited to trick it out with kind of uh, uh, kind of a lattice work of uh, recycled metal that will uh, will guide the rain and actually guide the rain into a trough um, that kangaroos and and whatnot could uh, then refresh themselves. Um, and I think, so what you said about, you said about your trip, about your intention reminded me of, uh, of witchcraft. And so I wanted, I wanted to share my thoughts on, on that and, uh, and wonder how much you think about it, about, uh, uh, witchcraft and, uh, having your, the intention in your mind become reality. Cause like the idea, the idea that you cast a spell, um, I believe is true. I think a spell it actually is what's in the focus of your mind, and then that's that focus becomes true because if the spell is for career advancement or to arrive at your hardware store and be greeted warmly, um, just means that that's what you focus on, and uh, and eventually what you focus on, um, if you do it intelligently, um, I expect that you would you would arrive at that uh, that destination. And, uh, and attain your goals. And you can call it a spell, or you can just call it being focused, goal-oriented, but either way, it's worth exploring that. Hmm. Well. That kind of wore me out. Like I, I think that that's the thing about being an introvert. It's like I just I just did a video. It was almost 20 minutes long. Actually, I was like, oh man, make YouTube suffer. But uh, a lot of times, like when I start to speak, like I have intention. To, I have intention of ideas, um, what I'd like to communicate. Um, and then once they're out, a lot of times I don't do it as much to, you know, inform you. Um, I do it to inform myself. So my, my brain's actually kind of a wash now of all the things that I've brought up. I, and I, I didn't bring them up on camera. Well, I did, but then I deleted it. But uh, it's this weird sense, a sense of being having had enough to eat, except I've had enough to say. Huh. Yeah, I might, say, I might save the rest of what was in my mind and what I've already said. I might save that for la later. So uh, I think now I'll just drink some beer, eat some chips, and I'll see in the tube. So, so if you, if you want to stop now, stop now. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, but if not, let's drink some beer.